Hi, everybody. How are you today? Just working on a few things. Start. Thought I'd pop in a few seconds early and just test and say my good mornings. early and just and say my good mornings big delay from what I hear and what you hear so I'm just flipping back and forth just going to my uh, YouTube channel for a second finish working on it over there Good morning, everybody. Well, actually, it's noon Eastern Standard Time, and it's 10 to 9 in the morning here for me. And I'm just making sure everything is public and that everybody can see it. Okay, that's done. Hi, Cam. Thank you. Good morning. Cam is my buddy. She's in Vancouver, BC area. Happy Saturday, Shelly. Thank you. I was looking last night. I It's just so impressive saying, um, you know, so many people from Germany watching and Italy and Portugal, Israel. I'm just trying to think of all the places. Good morning, Jennifer. Western New York. Awesome. I love to hear where everybody's from. Good morning, Judy. I feel organized, but boy, am I nervous today. I don't know why. It's crazy. Is the volume good, everybody? Just looking at my YouTube, sorry, um, so that I can make sure everything looks okay there, but it looks all black. I'll let it catch up. So today I'm going to do my live sale in Canadian Friends. First time to my sale, Christina, good morning, good afternoon. Hi, Stephanie. You can hear the birds? Yeah, I have the door to my office. It, it is nice here today. I do have a little jacket on only because it's quite early and hasn't warmed up in the office. But I do have the office door open because I'm on dog duty. My little one, my female might jump in here, but I don't believe brown sugar will. He's uh, just about 14 and not too much into jumping. I kind of froze on my YouTube live stream, but that's okay. Yeah, the lag in the video and the sound. Hmm. And I'm still trying to get my new internet service set up. <clears throat> so I'm just checking to make sure I'm on the right one, but I keep hitting volume. Yeah, I'm on the highest one that I have here. Ugh. Okay, hey, I'll get started with my spiel. So I'm going to sell in Canadian funds today. It's what I'm used to. It's what I use. So everything, you know, for people in the US, if I say the price is $15, then you'll know in US funds, it will be $12. A little laggy. Okay, thanks, Stephanie. Hopefully it will pick up a little bit. And um what happens is I'm going to do a lot of set prices today instead of auction. 
So what I'll do is I'll show an item and I'll say it starts at 15 or it is $15 and it's number 22. And the first person that I see on my end that puts in 22 is the one who gets it. And sometimes, most of the time, it will show up that you put it in first, and it's what I see on my end. Don't forget to be in live chat at the top of the screen above the chat. It says, it defaults to, to top chat, which it is faster to use live chat, so if you're lagging, hi, Blackie Jr. Lynn, yeah, welcome. Um, if you're lagging, go out of the stream and come back in and it will catch up. At the bottom of your screen, uh, there is the settings, which looks like a a wheel like it's round and spoky you tap on your settings and you can set the play at 1.25 which will also help you keep up with the stream yes so if i say a number i'm going to wait until i see it in the chat before i let you know that because of the leg it's just first come first serve on the items. There are a few that I have that I will be putting up as um, offers, but not all of them. So today I'm going to start with this little one. I have D from Thrill of the Frith. Thrill of the thrift on my mind. She had her flu shot day before yesterday and she wasn't feeling good. So she's uh, postponed her sale um, for later on today. So I'm just thinking of you, Dee. And here's a precious moments. This one is from, it says, This Too Shall Pass, 1987. And it's just the little heartbroken guy with a tear down his cheek. And I have to remember that everything is backwards on my screen. So this little guy, and I have him for um, a flat fee of $18. So the first person who's going to type in the chat um, will receive this for $18. And it's number 27. Number 27 for $18. The Precious Moment. So I just uh, will put my little tag back on there, put them aside, and just see if anybody is typing in the chat, just to give it a second or two. I had to write a couple of notes for myself because words slip me, as you know. And I was um, saying a few words wrong. I was calling acro agate. I was calling um, something else yesterday. Good morning, skunky junk. You had your first shot yesterday. Feeling okay, but your arm is sore. Yeah, I hear the arm is the worst. Yeah, don't do yard work today. It might wear you out. Keep your fluids up. And uh, just take it as if you have a flu or something. But Dee wasn't feeling good. Thrill of the Thrift. She's got a great channel. Love her. So I'm going to move on. And I have, I was showing yesterday in my video, I have these roosters. Yeah, and I'm selling them in a group of two. Um, sorry, I'm just, yeah. No yard work. Yeah. Um, I'm selling them in a group of two and what it is is there's two screws and then you have the hook and the hook just slides in and and it just moves sideways whichever direction once you put the weight on it it does stay still so you can I hang my hum, hummingbird feeder on them and there's also another notch here in case you need it to hang something else but these little gaffers, and I'm just getting my ruler, and I speak in inches because that's what I'm used to. So these are four inch, and like I say, they're in a set of two. So $18 for two. I have them in black. 
This one is the copper, and I have them in brass. So you can pick whichever, whichever ones you want. And so it's $18, number 28. And there's, it's not the first one who comments in because I do have some of them. Um, and I'm just writing down number 28. <coughs> Pardon me. You took a nap midday and that really helped me. Oh, it's midday already at your place. It's nine in the morning here. So whichever color you'd like. You do get two for that price. So that works out to be $9 each, just in case you only wanted one. Number 28. I'll bring it closer so you can actually see it. But these are metal. And mine are holding up well. I've had them up for just over a year. Okay, so we will end on that one. And I'll just put them over here. Yeah, your first shot. Um, so I have these cute um, empty um, sprays for your perfume. And they are going as a set. And there's marking on the bottom, but I'm struggling to see it. But I'll give you a close up in case you can. And I'm pivoting so that in case the light can look for you. And they're just cute pastel pink flowers. Hi, Christina. Cute pink flowers. So this is a set price for both of them. It's $14. And they're number 48. $14, number 48. So they both work. Oh, and there's my killer dog, Brown Sugar. He's, you know, not even 20 pounds. <laughs> So I'll give you a close up on the flowers. Hi, Kathy. Good morning or afternoon, depending on where you're at. So here we are. $14 and it's number 48. And there's two of them. So I have this tin. And it is, I'm not sure the age of it, but Locker, L-O-A-C-K-E-R. And it's a nice size tin, a few little dings in the front. I'm trying to, oh, I just lost one pen, so let's grab another. I don't think that's going to work. Just a second, guys, sorry. Need my pen. So there's a few little markings on this, but you can see all the goodies on the table. There, that's better. And it's in, in good condition other than the few dings on top. And I'll show you the inside. There's the base. You can see the ding up top there. And here's the inside of the lid. You can see a few dings. Oh my goodness, the glare from that light. So this one is a flat $12. And it is number six. Number six, if you're interested in the tin. Try and get up closer there. Oh, there is a tag from Christmas that is still on there. Somebody had scratched out the name. $12, number six. It's in good condition. There's a few little dings. Like I say, the tag on the top, you can remove. 
I'm just angling it. A tiny bit of paint wear there. There's a scratch. So you see the silver in the back. I'll try and bring that closer. Okay, so we'll put that one aside. And if there's something that you you decide that you want later, just ask again, and that's not a problem. So I have a little ephemera here, and I'm just going to take a peek where, there it is. So these are vintage napkins, and I'll just show them one at a time. These are going to be $12 for the group of them. Love, love, love the cars. There's one of these. The corner is bent up here. And I have one each of these ones. And these are just the smaller napkins. And then this one says Nova Scotia. And it does have some markings on it. And I'll show you the back. You can see a few brown spots on it. These are great for junk journaling. And then this one has a bit of handwriting on it. August 21, 1960. Bulls Christians in St. Albums Church. So I'll just show you that. And it does show more or less the age, 1960s. Just a bit of green on there on the napkin. And on the back, it's not written on. So I have some roses on this one. And on the back. So again, all of these are going to be one lump sum of $12. Here's another one. These are quite an age, 50s and 60s. And this says Jim Cornelius Knife and Fork Club Fun and Food Detroit. And there is a mark on the side here. But these, a lot of people love this for junk journaling. So I also have four of these. These ones aren't as old, but I would say they're from 1980s. So there's four of them. And this whole set is $12, number 18. And again, you get all of them. And my favorite is the one with the cars. These, these are in Canadian dollars. So $12 in Canadian is about $9.50 US. These are easy to ship by uh, paper mail. Okay, I'll put these aside. Just watching the chat. I don't want to miss anything. <laughs> okay, so I have this beautiful pottery mug. It's got the tulips on it. This is $8. Very clean on the inside. This is one that I have used. It is my mug. But like I say, just downsizing. And it's got good weight to it. Not too heavy because I don't like a really heavy mug. So this is $8. And if you're interested, type in the number 14. And on the bottom, it just shows the person's name, initials. I'm going the wrong way. Just up there at the top. Love the colors. Yeah, I, I'm such a purple person, eh? So it has nice teal, purple, a darker teal, rose color. So there we go. If you're interested, this is number 14 for $8.
the crocuses are popping up in my area. I'm just thrilled because I'm a month behind everybody in the city. Ah, so I'm just pulling um, a few things up here. I do have multiples up. So these are clip-on earrings. And I just added a few extras to what wasn't on my channel. So I have red ones, white, navy blue, and black. So I'm only holding up three, but I'll just bring closer. The red seems to show up really well on camera. So there's no rush if, if you're wanting a certain color. I do have a few of each. Here's the navy blue and the white. Just pivoting. So these are $8 a set. Whatever color you'd like. And that's number 46. Number 46. These are new, never been worn. I will be sending you one in the package sealed. Well, my neighbor has a new toy, it sounds like. And they will be sealed in the package. I just took these ones out so that you could see. And I'm going the wrong way. Okay. Something just fell and it sounds like some of the wood from my wood stove. That's okay. So $8, number 46. Don't want you to think that I'm breaking things. People in the chat, usually in the evenings, are talking about what they're having for dinner. Do they have crystals in them? They are um, very small rhinestones. Like I say, on camera, the red ones show up better, so I'll just show the red ones. And the rhinestones are up top. And they're small, like the rhinestones are small. There's lots of them. You can, you know, this is the way that they have them set to wear is the icicle on the top. But like I say, they're all brand new, never been worn. I like using these black for you christina absolutely and just shoot me an email my email's on the screen there with your youtube name your real name and your mailing address hi maybelle with your paypal email hi my girl i have to move something she wants up just a minute boo come on oh i know i know oh. <laughs> There you are. There, Cam. You haven't seen her in a while. Oh, she's only got one of her pink bows in her hair. There you go. So I'll write that down for you, Christina. Number 46. What are you doing, Monk? No, no. no. <laughs> Gotta love her. Maybe I'll know. No, Monk, Monk. What's wrong? Sorry, she's trembling. What's wrong with her? What's wrong? What happened? I'm sorry, you guys. She's trembling. Baby girl. Bella. Hey, hey, hey. What's wrong? She She's normally never like this. What's wrong, my girl? Bella. Bella, Bella, Bella. Mm. I'm such a suck for a mom. What's wrong, monkey? What's wrong? It's okay. It's okay. Good girl. <laughs> I'll just move this so she can jump out. You're okay. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, so I'll put that. It's that machine. Oh, yeah, you're right, Christina. She hates loud noises. It's okay, monkey. He's gone bye-bye. Um, uh, no, the thing that fell was just a tiny little thud. Thank you, Christina. 
Um, no, but the the back wah, wah, of that machine, because she, you know, people shoot guns up here and stuff in the fall for hunting season. And um, sorry, you guys, I just need to call my baby. It's okay, Mama. You want down? What a good girl. No, you don't need to go up on the table. <laughs> what have you been into? Your face is a mess. I know, baby. Oh, oh, oh. Um, Lauren's not being here. <sighs> not on my face. Lauren's not being here. She's out of sorts completely. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Thank goodness she's only a lightweight. Okay. So... I have um, an elephant here, and Stephanie wanted me to put it in the sale. Oh, Christina, she's just my love. She's turning five in a couple of weeks, and um, she's usually very independent. But, um, yeah, it must have been that vehicle, quad, whatever, they were riding that scared her so i'll show you the other side of the elephant it is trunk up good luck and just so you know everybody subscribe to my channel share it to your friends ask them to subscribe when i hit 2000 that will be a lucky number for me and i will be doing a draw for prizes i'm going to ensure that there's a multiple of variety so that you can have something for free and i'll pay the shipping for them so this elephant is i love the colors and i won't use blue tape again so it's twelve dollars number 23 twelve dollars number 23 um yeah i just <laughs> thank you kathy it's just She's my baby. Brown sugar I'm worse with. Thank you, Stephanie. I do appreciate it. Just want to get to 2,000. We like even numbers, right? Hi, Nancy. Good morning I, or afternoon. I don't see any signature. It is like a clay. I'm just going to show the belly of it. And I don't see any signatures when I was looking. And you're asking Elephant Parade Series? Mm, I haven't heard of that. Nancy at this overstuffed house, she, she's quite knowledgeable about things. There, my puppy has calmed down a little bit. So I'll just put that aside. Are you okay, my girl? Good girl. Okay. <laughs> she had muddy feet. I was using blue painter's tape, but then found a lavender roll of washi tape in the painting section of the store. It sticks less and has not caused any damage even to book covers. Nice. I, I did start out with a yellow and I did some in red and green. But the blue, I'm not able to see very well. I thought it would show up better. But I have this small hand-painted Anoria made in... Ugh. I'm not sure. It's a tiny little ashtray with the romantic scene. Maybe I should put it the proper way. This is cute. It's only about two and a half inches. And on the bottom, you can see um, that it has been used. So on the bottom, I'll give you a close up of the writing, hand painted. And it does have gold gilding on it, lightly, not overdone. This would sit fine on a plate rack. Oh, Cow Parade is more well-known. Okay. So this 
This little um, ashtray is $6. And if you're interested, number 26. <clears throat> number 26. That's a good girl. Yes, the pinks and the purples are my favorite. I have to remember I'm backwards. So I do wait a little bit, just remembering that there is a leg. And I'm just going to put those aside. And I have these Acro Agate um, candle holders. I'll shake out the dust. There's nothing on the bottom, but they are polished smooth. They stand very nicely. These are like a stone, and this is a pair of them. And they are quite collectible. You find different shapes, different colors. Um, stones are very calming. People use them um, in necklaces and rings just to get centered in, in their emotions. See the dust in there? Sorry about that. So these are $22 for the pair. They are quite popular at the moment. And the number is 12. So if you're interested, number 12. These are three inches tall. Nice light colors. And these are a stone agate. I think I was calling them quarry yesterday in my video. But I did write it down to help me. The chat's pretty quiet, you guys. Usually in the evenings when we're on the chat, it's like, what are you having for dinner? And it's like, oh, good idea. I think I'll have that. So I have this sachet here. And what it is is when a lady... Um, would travel, her personal maid would carry this sachet at, with hankies in it. So this is quite an age. I'm not sure when. I'm thinking closer, 40s, 1950s. And there are a couple of um, napkins, uh, hankies with it. The blues and the pinks. And... I just love hankies. Oh, well, Kathy, you have to get... <laughs> I didn't sleep. I don't sleep the night before a sale, it seems. So these two hankies come with this sachet. And I'll just put them back in. And it just folds in half. And when traveling, your maid would just have this. Hash brown and eggs for breakfast this morning and watch some of the Home and Garden show while I ate. Oh, Home and Garden, love it. So this is $12. And if you're interested, it's number 19. I would believe it's from the 40s or 50s, 1940s, 1950s. $12, number 19. And it does come with the two hankies that I've put in backwards. <laughs> and I'll just give that a minute and see what else we're going to do. <clears throat> Number 19. Okay, Christina, I'm just going to write you down for that. Thank you. So I'll put it in a different pile. I love hankies and napkins like that. So this is the cigarette tin I was showing yesterday on my video. And it is about two and a half inch square. Well, two and three quarters by two. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> he didn't want to go to the dog park. Mine only went for a short walk this morning. Brown Sugar said, 6.30 is too early. So this is the inside of the cigarette case. And I bought this at an auction, Victoria, BC, which is on the island, we call it. And it's not English, so I'm not able to translate that for you. And it still has the paper seal on the corner down here. It does, I just have to, <laughs> stubborn. This little one here, the white one, Maybell, I call her Bella. She's, uh, yeah, she's one feisty. I can hear brown sugar. There's a little bit of writing on the back in ink. Does that mean a dollar seventy-two? I'm not quite sure. So I am, just so you know the back. Other than that, this is in really good condition. I have it listed for $35, but I thought today, just at my auction, $25, number three. First person to type in number three will be $25. I was going to do an offer up on it, but I seem to be um, wanting to catch up because Maybell needed me. So $25, number three. I'm not sure the age, what's on the front. Hi, Gritty Grit. Good morning. Morning for me here. So it's nothing in English that I can read, but it does say made in Holland. Made in Holland. Sorry, I'm trying to get it so I'm not, sh the light's not shining on it. Oh, 50s dresses, yes. Sometimes on Facebook I post, uh, you're welcome, Gritty. Um, sometimes I post the, um, the year I was born, a dress or purses or candies, whatever was going on the year I was born. That's cool. So I'll put that aside. And just looking, I had to write one more thing down. So just um, showing my wax seals again. I have a, I'm noisy. I have a variety of colors. This isn't all the colors I have. So each packet is $15 and you just pick the color that you'd like and it's number two. So this is like a milky green pearlescent. So you get five in the package. These are wax seals for doing the vintage stamping like how they used to security things oh you are thank you gritty grat thank you stephanie so the tin will go to you then gritty and just a reminder send me an email Did you want to see the tin again, Gritty, or just think about it? Because you can send me an email if you're not 100% sure, no pressure at all. So here's a nice purple color. And I have reds. This is a silver Shows up very nicely on camera. Like I have a, a dark blue. Here's another pearlescent, uh, different green. If you, if, that's fine, pretty. Just send me an email if you're interested. That's not a problem. 
So if you're interested in any of the candle wax or seal wax, they're $15 a package, $12 US, and they're number two. Good girl, Bella. She hears the plastic, so she thinks it's food. So a little more purple here. I have this picture frame. It is a heavier... Um, Mm, what would you call it like a plaster and it looks like it has been milk painted or um painted over top this is 12 dollars. this is from my house um before i downsized i really do like it it's in really good condition and it's number 38 so if you're interested, you can change the picture out. Brown sugar, just a minute, baby. And if you give me a second, I'm just going to go get brown sugar and see what he's up to. I didn't expect them to be. It's okay. Brown, just lay down. Good He's in my house looking for me because he can hear me. Uh, there are pansies in the picture, Stephanie. Pansies in a, in a vintage bathtub tipped over. No, I, I mean a sink. Pardon me. A vintage sink. And you can see the sink down here and then the back of it. So it would be the look of a cast iron sink. So this is $12, number 38. Yeah, Stephanie, I thought that brown sugar, just lay down brown. It's okay, baby, baby. Blah, blah, blah. So I'll put that one aside. Hi. I am one of those very, my dogs are needy because I spoil them. Grandma's gone crap. Number 38. It is beautiful. I really like it. So I'll put you down for that. And don't forget to send me an email. My email's on the screen with uh, your YouTube name. Um, oops. So my email, melanie.freedom46 at hotmail.com. And you just send me an email with your YouTube name your real name, your mailing address, and your email address for your PayPal. If you don't have PayPal, I'll send you an invoice using PayPal. And you can just go in as a guest and use a credit card to pay. So I'm just going to write that down for the picture frame. Number 38. I'm not sure if I've seen you before. Grandma's gone crafty. Yeah, it's easy to use the PayPal. If you don't have an account, you can just go in as a guest. Here, Bella, do you want a blanket? <laughs> Chalkware. So this is from Madam Rack. And it is the pumpkin head. I'm just taking my tag off because I'd like to show you the back. There are some, thank you, Christina. There are some little dings on it. Oh, good. Yeah, PayPal is easy. Purple's my favorite color too. Yeah. So this little gaffer, he is the sweetest. And I'm just going to... Um, I would say he's six inch diameter. Uh, you can see the birds on the top and the side with the cherry in their mouth. It's not a cherry, it's a... On the back, you can see it has its hanger and there are markings on the back. So I'm thinking that would be from being hung on drywall and a bit of moisture. I haven't 
done anything to clean it up. It doesn't come off on my hands, nothing. But this little pumpkin head is sweet. He's $18, number seven. $18, number seven. Well, Grandma's gone crafty, you're good to go because I haven't done my other purple items yet. So this is pumpkin head, P-U-N. I, I know purple is addicting, isn't it? If you love it, you love it. So this one is $18, little chippies. And on the other side, sorry, everything's backwards when you're using your computer. Just little markings there. But this dude's cute. Good girl. So a few little things that weren't in the video. Oh, kids books with a little bear with that name. Thank you, Nancy. This is a piano baby. This guy is about four inches tall. He's in good condition. Oh, number seven, Christina. Sure. So I'll just move that to a different, I was wondering if that was a famous bear or something. Yeah, so uh, uh, Nancy from This Overstuffed House said it's from a kid's book of a little bear with that name. So that's, thanks Nancy. I learned so much from your channel, it's great. This Overstuffed House. So this little piano baby, he's in his diaper. He's in good condition. I think it's too bright to show him. Oh, but you can see his face, just the long eyelashes. And piano babies go for quite a bit of money. Yes, Christina is getting number seven, and I, and I thank you. Hi, Janet. Good morning, good afternoon. So this piano baby, they do go for quite a bit of money. So I want to do this as an offer up. So we'll start this offer at $25. And if you're interested, you just type in the price, $25 or higher. We stay with even dollars. $25 Canadian is $20 US. But we're just going to type in the Canadian amount for this little guy. These go usually um, $70 to $120 and up. But he's got all his fingers and toes in great condition. So this is a piano baby starting at $25. Oh, pumpkin. Uh, my auntie's from Ontario. He used to call me Pet. P E T. Pet. Love the curl, the whip curl on his head. It's just so cute. Okay, we'll pass on this. I'll just put my little tag back on. It does say Inarco, I N A R C O dash or e dash 183 and if you're interested in something later just let me know thank you thank you for the email as so i have a set of salt and pepper shakers surprise surprise these ones i just need to wipe off the price tag residue it says fine bone china stafford made in england so i'll show you like i say it still has the residue from the price tag on it so these are a match but i'm just showing one side each there is one stopper missing 
These are eight dollars. Number thirty. Yeah, Stephanie, the piano babies are very, very expensive. But that's okay. I'll list it. I don't mind. It's just that I, I'm lazy at taking pictures. So little salt and pepper shakers, $8, number 30. No, Janet, I haven't got my internet hooked up because there's my house is in the way. You need about 100 feet of open ceiling in the sky. And I don't have that. So I have to put a 30 foot rod in the ground to put my internet up. It works really well, even though I only had 20% use of it, but they, it won't stay on for very long. But oh my God, instead of a whole day downloading a video, it did it in uh, two hours and that was only 20% activity. So I'll put those aside. My little monkey's still laying beside me. So I have these wolves. It says Ebony Chief, 1997 Bradford Exchange. So these are like collector plates. These are similar to those that Bradford Exchange. You can see the pewter on top is the wolf. They all have that. I'm selling them each. So here is a close up of this one. This is from my own collection. I am the only owner. And I'll show you the other one. Like I say, I have a few of these. Um, just, oh, just something a little sticky on there. So they're $22 each. And if you're wanting more than one, I can pick out of the box. That's still in my other storage. $22, number 10. I know I have a tiny house and I'm saying my house is in the way. My house is 13 feet to the top, but then I've raised it up because of um, I've put it up on blocks and skirted it in. So it's probably 16 feet up in the air now. So these bulbs Closest I can say is Christmas ornaments. They have the pewter wolf on the top. You can see howling. And then each one is different. And they're $22 each. Number 10. Yeah, me and my tiny house. <laughs> so this parakeet from Avon is full. I can empty it to ship if you'd like. And it's like new condition. I do have the box. The box does show a little age to it. It's very popular on my Etsy page. Lots of likes. Avon Island Parakeet. Spring Promise Cologne. Printed in Canada. And like I say, just the box in of itself. I love stuff like that. And so this parakeet is, I would say, five inches. My ruler fell on the floor. And it is uh, $10, number 24. $10, number 24. And like I say, if you want it emptied, I can empty it. I have not smelled the cologne. That's not my thing. I'm sensitive to smells. I know, Stephanie, just the box. Oops, as I throw it at you. I love it. And people use these boxes in vignettes and displays. So that is $10, number 24. Awesome. So here's the Flower Fairy Alphabet book. This is sweet, you guys. 
and it's it's going to have uh, in Kitchener, where I live, they have just put forward to try to change bylaws to allow tiny houses of under 800 square feet. And I, and um, Stephanie, th they still want a house. This is more like an RV, and they won't allow it in the city here. Okay, Nancy, see you in a bit. Maybe you're shipping my goodies. And I can do an unboxing when I get them. So these are great. This book is in excellent unused condition. And it's the alphabet. Um, T, the song of the thrift fairy. Now we will tell the splendid things. Seagulls of that sail on fearless wings. Where a great cliffs tower grand and high against the blue, blue summer sky. Where none but birds and brights can go oh there the rosy sea pinks grow i could go on but i'm not going to but that's tea for thrifting aren't they cute and it's just it would be hard to cut it up for ephemera but i mean once you buy the book it's yours right and it's the full alphabet look at this bugle the colors are great that is part of a series of five or six flower fairy books. They are lovely. I do have another one that I found yesterday in my, oh, I had gone dark. I had found another one. Hi, book. The, these are a flower fairy alphabet book. And these are a series of flower fairies. And this one, um, these beautiful new editions of the Flower Fairy books have been designed to recapture the charm of the original edition, which was first published in the 1920s. And the artwork is Cic Cicely Mary Barker. C-I-C-E-L-Y. And it says the original was 1920. Um, and this is a reprint. 1934 this one i believe is 1990 but the graphics and just everything this is apple blossom and the little song of the apple blossom so this is eight dollars number 25 eight dollars number 25 hi josie Nice to see you. Hi, D Rose. These are adorable. I've got another one I'll show you right away. Um, that was number 25, so I'm just flipping my page here. And then I'll show you the other one. This is quite big, it's the address book. And it's unused in excellent condition. You can just see all the fairies. And this one is going to be $10, number 49. $10, number 49. I'm not pulling the cover back too far. I don't wanna um, do the binding. But it's petting the dog up top here. The Black Medric Fairies. They're just adorable. So that one is $10, number 49. Yes, I did. Stephanie, thank you. I'm just going to go over... Yeah, my video is frozen on the other side, so I'll just close that out. Maybe that will help a little bit with um, the speed. So everybody, just a reminder, if you feel like you're lagging and that my voice isn't matching up, try and go out and coming back in.
And then um, be sure to be in the live chat and not the top chat. It always defaults to top chat. So I'll just put that aside. And I just want to make sure my fingers are wiped down a little bit. So I have this doily set here. <clears throat> And it is um, in pinks. I'm just taking my tag off. It's got the little basket on the front, ruffled all in pink. And so there's one, two, I believe that they're headrests for the Chesterfield or the chairs. Sorry, it's got a like a plastic staple in it. So this is the longer one. Both ends are done with the little daisies, if that's right, daisies. And then to go with it, oh, I have these uh, placemats. And on the placemats, just a little blue bird on the corner there. And it's finished exactly the same as the last group. So it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So six place mats. They're all in really good condition. If there's a little marking in there, it, I haven't found it. Little bluebirds and this one. And these are $18 for the whole set, all of them. And it's number 20, $18, number 20. Oh yeah, Chris, Christina, I love the fairies. So all of the napkins come along with it. $18, number 20. Isn't that great? Everybody gets to know each other. I've been watching Nancy for like a year now and I feel like we're friends and he collects, yeah, Vintage Vinny from his channel, he collects pinups. He loves them. So I'm going to show you this beautiful plate and it, it does show up nicer when I put it with something behind it. So I'm just gonna show you using the napkins. And it's got the pinks and purples on it. Bit of cream, clear, not a whole lot of color, just pinks and purples. It is footed. So it's a raised serving plate. Just, you know, you can put your candlesticks on it or um, breakfast muffins here's the back and the diameter I would think this is 12 to 14 inches oops ah, this is $18 number 21 $18 Number 21. Feels a tiny bit rough here, but I'm peeling it off. This is very pretty. Very hard to show in a photograph. I'd like to put it somewhere that my elbow's not going to hit it. Hi, Bella. So I have these two imported gem made in Canada. And then this, it says the same thing. So I have a set of two. These are huge canning jars with the, the rims, the seals. They are quite large. One gallon, I would imagine. A little, little ding in the lid to this one. The other ring is in good condition. 
There are two of them and I'm selling them together. And they are $18 for the pair. Well, that's a good price. $18 for the pair, number 37. Number 37. These are sought after here in my area. And they do say imported gem made in Canada. Quart jars? No. These would be gallons, wouldn't they? Boy, oh boy. So there's two to the set, $18, number 37. <clears throat> so I have a swim vase. It is purple and it is going to start at $22. Please feel free to put the price in and we'll carry on and I'll talk about the piece. It is um, a little rough on the bottom, but that's just from use. It has the indent here for the pontal piece. And it is the five finger vase, the swung vase because they hung it and swung it. Oh, canning magnets? I'm not sure. I have some tins today. They're brand new. Um, and I just put magnets on the back of them. I put my hair ties and that sort of thing in them. So this swung vase, starting at $22, high CLC. They are quite popular. I would say this is a 12-inch Usually the price goes up by each inch. This one won't be bad to ship. Kathy is at $24. And it is purple. I'll just get up close here. Hold it still for a minute. CLC for $25. <clears throat> I bought this because of the purple. Just loved it. But like I say, downsizing, that's just the way it goes. Kathy is at $26. Do you need mommy's help? You don't want my help? Yes, it is, Christina. It is a purple. Um, a smoky purple. Christina at $28. Christina at $28. Kathy at $30. Kathy at 30. Christina at 32. It's kind of exciting that uh, people who haven't seen uh, an offer up. Christina at 32 showed the bottom. It is a bit rough here, but there is an indent. CLC is out. Thank you, CLC. We have Christina at 32. <clears throat> so the offer is 34 for Kathy. Kathy's been receiving her parcels quite quickly. Thirty five for Christina. So we're down to Kathy and Christina. Thanks, book. Bye. Kathy is at thirty six. Thank you. 
So Kathy is at 36. I'm going to start closing last call. 37, Christina. My dog's going to fall off the bench. <laughs> Christina at 37. Kathy, are you out? Okay. Oh, well, I won't say that word, but yes, I totally get it. So it's the last call, Christina at $37. There you go, Christina. Thank you, Kathy and Christina. Thank you. So I put that as number 17, just so I can know where it is on my list. So I'm putting that as Christina. Christina, are you in Canada or are you in the U.S.? Just maybe you're somewhere else. I'm not sure. I'd like to put that over there safe and sound. Yeah, that's a good buy, Christina. This is still a very good price. Swung vases go for a lot. So I just have a small set of brand new earrings. They're new old stock. Oh, California. Okay. Um, they're new old stock, never been worn. They are um, quite an age. They're not brand new. They have just never been worn. I bought stock out of a store in Ontario that was closing. So these are $12. And if you're interested in them, they're number nine. They're a nice blue color. Number nine. These are pretty. And they've just got nice glisten to it. <laughs> okay, the chats is get a little going there. That's the pinups and stuff. I was going to buy some. They, I just, there's uh, the people at my post office that I've shown you, you know, um, with the antique store. He's got a garage there and he's got these huge pinups and they're just like gorgeous. Like I'm talking six feet tall and they were uh, friends of theirs made them. They're just oh, breathtaking. So I have these, I had to write it down, player piano rolls. And there's going to be three of them. And I'm just going to be showing one, but you do get all three. They are um, $18 for the three of them. This is what the center looks like after they've been unrolled. It's the centerpiece. People are selling just these pieces on Etsy for quite a bit of money. Just, it's crazy. You don't have to rush. This is just $18 for three of them. I have plenty. They're number 11. If you're not worried about the titles, this one says two eyes of gray. And I'm, I'm confident to open it a little bit. And this is just a nice paper. And it's uh, piano rolls, player piano rolls. So if you look on Etsy, usually you get uh, one for like $13 and, and up. But these are going quite well, junk journaling and other things. So all three of them, $18, number 11. $18, number 11. And so if you're interested, just put the number in the chat. I do have plenty. Oops. So I have a little metal um, rack here. I usually do about two hours, Kamel. Kamel. 
I can go longer, but um, usually somebody has a sale after me. So I have this um, metal rack, and it's just smaller pieces, the sifting spoon. You can see wear on the fork. And then I have the large spoon and the buttermilk. So this is an age and it does have wear to it. It is more for display than anything else. And I'll show you the back. And this is $15, number 29. $15, number 29. These are about eight inches. Like I say, there's wear to them. Oh, and my stomach just started to growl. So these are $15, number 29. You can't find any purple or just something specific, Kathy. Okay, Cam, thank you. Love you. I haven't seen you in so long. Yes, Cam, every day's a weekend for me because I've retired. Have a good weekend. I have other vases, Kathy, um, but mine are more uh, the pulpit ones. So I'm just putting those aside and I have this serving platter it is pottery uh, like it's made in Italy so it's like a pottery piece and it is a smaller dish and it has the indents here and it says Italy 246 the colors are pastels Green with the pop of blue is the vibrancy. Tiny bit of wear on the edges here. I'll show that up closer. Just, I can feel them. That one I think you can see. A little more over on this side. Like they're just tiny. I do see crazing on it. And that would be from the glaze. And just a little more markings here, a little rough. But other than that, it's in really good condition. Italy, number 246. So this is, I'm just grabbing my little sticker here. Now that I showed you, it's from Italy. It's $18, number 22. $18, number 22. Yeah, Christina, we all look for the gods to help us when we're at the shops. $18, number 22. This is from Italy. So everybody, just forgetting to ask, but could you hit the thumbs up? And if you haven't shared one of my videos, bleh, share one of my videos. I'm trying to get to 2,000 subscribers so that I can do a, a giveaway. There'll be a variety of items. So I have these vases here. They're the milky. This one's the pineapple fruit. Satin is what it would be, not... And this one is the blue with the flowers. The two birds under the branches here. They're very cute. I guess turning it this way would be the best. So these are both probably nine, eight, nine inches. And they're $12 for the set. 
This is Classen Giftware, Saskatchewan, Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, made in Japan. And this one is also made in Japan. So for both of these, it's $12, number 45. $12, number 45. Just love the pastel blue. Here's a little writing on the side here. <clears throat> so you've seen me unbox this before it's the five piece set the salt and pepper shakers and the mustard dish with the lid there is no spoon but it has the tray and i apologize i haven't washed it up and it's 25 dollars starting offer on this one and it's the orange and black, perfect for fall and Halloween. I'm just trying to remove the sticker off. So the offers are starting at $25. Mrs. Bellwood is handwritten on the back. And it says, Made in Japan. Yeah, perfect, Kathy, for Halloween, absolutely. So you can start the offers. A little bit of wear on the gilding on this one. The shaker is on the inside. It does say made in Japan. Uh, the gilding is pretty good on this one. Still wear on it. But yeah, maybe what I'll do is I'll hold off until uh, the fall and put these up again because they are quite expensive. Or I could add them to my Etsy page. That's not a problem. So I'm going to ask you guys to help me on this one. What is this? I call it a vase, but it's not. Like it's the pontil is there. I'm taking all my stickers off. Very smooth, which shows a better quality in the glass. But I'm not sure what you would use it for because these are all like my hand goes right through them. Silver in there, speckles, an even flow, candle holder, pillar. Thank you. I was like, what the heck? I love it. The colors are great. Very nice. It's $25 in good condition. It's got controlled bubbling, like a hurricane lamp. Yeah, controlled bubbles, which is, shows a higher quality. I'm doing this just a, a little heavier for shipping, so I thought I'd be fair and, and knock off a few dollars. So $25, number 41. $25, number 41. It is good quality. Like, like you can just tell quality. I, you know what I mean? It's beautiful. And like I say, very smooth on the bottom, which increases the quality. It's Murano style. It's not, I'm not saying it's Murano glass. I'm just saying the quality is, is quite good. Thank you for helping me with my mystery. I'm just going to put it further away. So I have this bar glass. It's got the top hat and the horn. It's more of a, what do you call it when they're in the band? And then the fire hat and the axe. And the pour spout is here. And everything's in really good condition. I couldn't find a name on it. It just reminds me of Libby Glass. Here's a top hat with the glove and the cane. 
and then another hat there. So this is $8, number 15. $8, number 15. Great for a bar. Nice and clean on the inside. There's no chips or cracks. It's in really good shape. Art glass. That's an easy way to say it. And then I'm not being, you know, um, saying that it's Murano when it's not or if it's not. But if it is, then you benefit from it because something like that Murano glass would go probably 60 to 80 $85. So this is $8, number 15. It's like a martini pitcher, yeah. But great on the bar. I'm just going to reach. So you've seen this set that I showed, the purple opalescent. And there are two of these. So they flank the sides of this one. These are from Taiwan. They're in good condition for sure. These aren't like terribly old, but I, I would think that they're 70s, 80s. No, 1970s. I just feel that is. But the purple and the roses, that, that seems to be a decal, not hand painted. Mm, dusty on the inside of that one. I love these. Oh, Stephanie, I just love them. So this set of three, this is probably 14 inches tall. And I would think that this centerpiece would be uh, nah, eight inches wide. Like these are a nice set. So they are $25. And it's number one for the three pieces. $25. Number one for all three pieces. Good girl, Bella. My active puppy is sleeping beside me. I can't believe it. Christina, good on you. Like, I mean, Taiwan, people, oh, it's Taiwan. But for me, they're just, there's something about it. When you love purple, you love purple. You can tell I had a bigger house before. <laughs> hmm. So I'm just going to put you down for that, Christina. Thank you. And I'm just ducking around here. Thank you, Shelly. Thank you. I have a variety. Like, you just wouldn't believe the variety that I have. Like, if you want me to put in horse bits from the horse's... I can do that. I mean, I've got medals. This is Donald Duck. And on the bottom, it says Walt Disney Productions. I bought this off one of the other sellers online, but it's just not fitting in with, like, the blue is a bit dark for what I'm doing now for my decor. Oh, I see. Well, I mean, the pink will still look good with it, Christina. It really will. So this is Donald Duck, Walt Disney Productions, and it's $12, number 39. It's in good condition. And I'll just bring it up closer. $12. Number 39. It's kind of nice when, you know, everybody's getting to know each other and what your colors are and that sort of thing. So I'm just going to reach for another larger item. And then we'll get ready to auction off the, the clock radio. So this is a water jump. 
it's a smaller, here's the jug that goes inside. And it's got all the forget-me-nots on it in really good condition. You can use it for lemonade in the summer. Bye, Kathy. Thank you. Dr. Pepper. I'm a Diet Dr. Pepper fan. That's all I drink. So this is a water jug with the forget-me-nots on the back. Oh, a little dusty. I have to wash that up. On the back is totally plain. And like I say, on the inside, it's very good condition. And it's $25, number 13. $25, number 13. I love the forget-me-nots. And if you don't want the water jug with it, I don't have to send it. But it is, you know, meant to be together kind of thing. My puppy, she's cute. So it's $25, number 13. And I'm going to get the radio. It'll just be a second. It's okay, baby girl. So this radio, I plugged it in, no problem, no hesitation. Um, if you're buying it, it's all at your own risk. Come on, Bella. Good girl. The plug seems to be replaced. I'm not sure. It's still an older one. Um, like I say, I didn't hesitate to plug it in. It's no fraying on the cord. I couldn't get the radio to work. I didn't get any static. But when I plugged it in, the second hand did, did work. Did work. The offers are starting at $50. I'm just doing this to downsize, not knowing if you're wanting something at a price this large, and um, which that is a very good price. To start the offers, I did not get the radio to work, but the, the second hand clock, the second hand on the clock is working. The beautiful blue in there is why I bought it. The brand name at the base says Jewel. And the top says Wake Master. So it is set for an alarm. I'm not sure if the alarm works at all. I just have it for um, display. I, I never plugged it in, but except yesterday I did. So it's a beautiful piece. And if anybody's interested later on, it is missing. There's one dial here, and it's missing the dial over here. And that's the only thing that I see that is wrong. I'll show you the back of it. It's beautiful. No guarantees on it. Telecron movement. And it is an alarm clock. But I didn't test that. How deep it is? Okay. So the depth of this is, I would say, six inch. But I'll duck down and get my measuring tape, my ruler, that fell. But I have a little dog who's in my way. But that's okay. Good girl, Maybelle. So the width of this... My goodness, there we go. It is four and a half, no, four and a quarter inches. Four and a quarter. I'm just going to put it on the table flat so that I can get the height for you. And it is six inches high. Me and my ruler. I don't like this ruler. 
I'll get a different one. So it is 12 inches in length. And like I say, the plug looks pretty good. I plugged it in with no hesitation, but that looks like it has been replaced recently. The cord is not frayed. The cord looks like, mm, I would say, 1960s, 1970s. But like I say, it's all up to you. So if you're interested, you can email me later. Once you do a little lookup, Christine, Christina, if you're interested. So I'm just going to put this over here. Oh, I have to get my butt up. Good girl. So I have some newer items. I may be, yeah, Christina, sure. Absolutely. So this is from my mom. She makes these. These. This is quite an age. I've had it probably 30 years. I've never used it. I've never worn it. It is $12. Number 43. Yeah, the radio is. Like that blue in the center of it. I call it a radio, but... They, the radio I couldn't get to work. So my mom made this about 30 years ago. She used to make all my hair brats. I used to have a lot of hair. Good girl, baby. Here, mommy, move that. I'll move that for you. Just rearranging the furniture for my dog. My dog. Good girl. So I have these tins. I make candles and such. But I have these tins. They're brand new. There's three of them to the group for $12. And they're number 44. They are brand new. Nice light color. Medium size. They just have that... Cottage core is the new terminology that everybody is using. So here's the inside. I add magnets to the back of them, use them for different things. So I have this color, this size, and $12, number 44. So I have a lavender candle here that I made, and it's, um, sorry, I'm just flipping my, my page here. I don't know where my sticker went. So a lavender candle. It comes in a purple tin or the pink tin. They're $10 each, number 34. And they're both lavender. For how many? The tins? $12 for three of these, Christina. This is just a baby blue. Roses on it. Or peonies. I'll show you the top. Is that a peony? And that's number 44. So this lavender candle, I put the strongest scent that you could on these. Lavender is my calming, just I love the smell. Scents do bother me, but this one doesn't. Lavender, and you can have it in the purple tin or the pink tin. Thank you, Christina. Absolutely. And I'll just show you what the inside of the tin looks like. The tins are $5 each if they're empty. 
never been used. So this is what they look like once you're done using the candle. I just wipe them out. They wipe out very easily. And these are great little tins around the house. So if you're wanting just this tin, it's like a teal green. And it is $5, number 36. And then I have a white tin with a cinnamon candle. And it's number 35, $10. Number 35. So I'm just opening it up. The lids are great. They stay on. And there you go. So it's $10 for the cinnamon candle, number 35. And then I have these um, butane lighters. They're brand new. I will ship them empty. They're $15 each. And they're number four. I have uh, quite a few of them. I sell them regularly because I do sell candles. So if you're interested in them, they're on my Etsy shop. Or you could just have me toss them in with something else that you ordered. They work great. And you just have to get your own butane because I can't ship with them. I really like these. So I do sell them. I had some Dusty Rose ones, but boy, oh boy, it's hard to get them back. This is brand new. It is um, a water bottle. And it is in the, the black, um, not the gloss, but the satin finish. And these can be used, you know, the circuit, no, crickets. People make and put sayings on them, you know, deer heads, that sort of thing. So this is $12, number 42. And these are blanks. It's got the lanyard on it to connect to your belt or your backpack or whichever. I have never opened this one. It is clean on the inside, never been used. And I just have extra things around here like this because of the crafting that I have done and will continue to do. So this is $12, number 42. And like I say, if you're interested, you can email me later. This is $8, number 47. It's got the butterflies in it, hand-painted. I believe I bought it off somebody on one of the sites because it's just so cute. But I, instead of having these, I'm um, collecting the doll heads, the um, lady planters. So this is butterflies. It's probably five inches tall, four, five inches. It's $8, number 47. But just a little more purple for you. Hand painted. Gold gilding on the rim. So here's three other tins that I have. They're three for $10. And the number is 31, so you do get all three of them. They say, sweet love. Oops, how about if I put it up right? So it says, sweet love on it. Happy and romantic. I'm not quite sure what the little writing is because of my eyesight. So these are pretty flowers. You get three of the same color, plain on the sides. These ones I use my for my hair elastics. I put a magnet on the back of them. So you get three of them for $10, number 31. Number 31. I have these smaller ones. And these work well also on my fridge. I use them for my um, ugh, pins. 
I just want to take one out of the package. You, these are $6 for three of them. They're different flowers on them. And they're just easy, nice to tuck in. Number 32, I have a couple groups of three. Yeah, I, I have tins everywhere with magnets in my house. They're in my beams, the lofts beams um in my bathroom like i say these are the size that i use for my that's a four-wheeler <laughs> i use these for my hair elastics um i use the bigger ones for my candles i was going to put candles in this one these ones i use for my thumb pegs what do you call them tax tax and uh, these are great. You can fill them. I've made Lipsil before, so these are good for that. These are all brand new. Three of them for $6. Different flowers. And then what else? I have this necklace here. I don't want to cover it up. So this necklace, brand new. This is part of the um, store that I bought out in Ontario. Never been worn. Nice peach colors. Multiple colored strand. It is $12 and it's number eight. $12, number eight. Enameled, very cute. And I also have, I have stickers and bags <laughs> lying every minute. So I have a set of three of these color, the pink. So you get all three of them for $10. They're number 33. So these are just like these blue ones here. So you get three for $10. I'll slow down and give you the front facing. Just a pattern on the side. And there's the bottoms. So that's that box. And I think the box below it is just... Um, the wax melts that I have shown and like I say different colors of them whichever color they're $15 a package you get five in them and I think that one of my giveaways is going to be a starter kit just thinking and um, with those ones, I have like this milky gold copper color. I have a black one. I've sent Nancy her yellow one, but I have one in mustard yellow. These all have the filigree on the front. And so I... I think that's going to be it for the sale today. I put out 50 items and I was thinking, oh, I'd get through about 25, but look at me go. Holy, you guys. So is there anything else that you'd like to see again? Just in case I didn't show it very well. And if you have bought something today, Please send me the email, your YouTube name, your real name, your mailing address, and your PayPal email. I'm going to be doing up the invoices today and tomorrow. Yes, it does make a difference, Stephanie. Um, the offer ups do take quite a long time. But I did make a, a commitment to people when I bought everything from the auction. Uh, when I bought from the auction, um, 
I said that I would auction it up for them. Okay, I'll grab the mug. Just one moment. I just put a couple things on top of it, so I'm just grabbing that. Always sounds worth them. When it, thank you, Christina. Yes, it is $8, number 14. You always wonder. I mean, the variety of stuff I have is, is like Nancy from this overstuffed house. You just never know what's going to show up. These are tulips. Two shades of purple, like a blue, dusty rose, peach. It's number 14. Eight dollars. It's not one of those that are so heavy you can't hang on to it. Like this is the one that I used in my kitchen. I stopped drinking coffee. I only drink Diet Dr. Pepper. So that's my fix in the morning. And it does have the maker's signature. Yeah, I did an offer up that worked well today when one was done, CLC, she knew to type out. And um, so it was left between two in it, and it went very well, Nancy. There is a signature on the bottom. Yes, Stephanie, I will combine shipping. That's not a problem. Yeah. So just ask questions, and I'd like to ask you as uh, my subscribers, is it fine that I put in some newer items out on Monday? Thanks, Nancy. No, you don't have to cover the shipping hunt. Like, I don't mind. I just keep adding to the pile and adding to the pile when I shop from you. Okay, Stephanie, I'll put you down for number 14 then. And I'm just moving because I put everything on top. Stephanie. And so, Stephanie, you'll still need to send me your address because I don't have those. Oh, sure. I can show you the earrings, Christina. And I'm not sure. Are you talking the clip-ons? Or um, the pierced earrings. So here are the clip-ons. I had them in four different colors. Thanks, Stephanie. Or the blue ones that are for pierced ears. So the clip-on ones I have in navy blue. A cream, like white. Um, navy blue, black, red. I'm holding the reds, thinking what was the fourth color. Um, these blue ones here. Number nine, $12. Yes, the radio is still available. Starting price for the radio is $50. And like I say, I, when I plugged it in, the second hand did work. I didn't try the alarm. I couldn't hear any static for the radio. I don't play with it because it's electronics. And as you can tell, I'm not very good at it. The longer ones. Okay, Christina, they were the blue ones. They are pretty. Nice movement. They're not heavy. Like, they look heavier than they are. But I like the movement in them. So they're number nine. So is it okay with you guys? Most most people just stick with vintage, but I have such a variety. There are brand new things. There is vintage. There is medium. There is. So I like to stick to a variety. And I'm just, you know, for my viewers, Radio on the mantle. Yeah, radios. I, I do have a few more. 
Okay, Christina, thank you for that. To have a mixture, that's just because I have so much. I'll take it already looking at knobs. Haha, ha, I'll be $5 million to ship all that, but it's great. Bake light radio, plus it only does AM radio, so that's probably not a huge loss. So you're taking the radio, Christina. Thank you. Thank you. So are you, which blue are you speaking of, Christina? It's just easier on screen, the darker blue or the lighter blue. <laughs> okay, so if you're watching this later, please leave a comment. Um, if you're welcome, Christina, no problem. If you're liking um, the variety, even though it's not all vintage and some are brand new, going to Disney. Are all the cans, Melanie, together as a lot? You get three of these as one lot. You get three of these as one lot. And then my pink ones are down here. And you get three of these for one lot. So these two are the same shape. Uh, Nancy, I'm thinking I need to get the, it's not an antenna. I need to put a post in the ground to put the satellite dish on it. It's, it's satellite internet. And so Lawrence should be home in um, two and a half weeks. And I, and I want him to put the steel rod in the ground. I could ask my neighbor, maybe he will. Uh, most likely he would. Antique shopping at Disney? Bring it on. Oh, uh, yeah, open the borders. Good news. I, like I say, I was drinking Diet Dr. Pepper for years. And when, when the borders shut down, I couldn't get a case of cans. I could only get the bottles, um, the plastic two liter bottles. So the other day was the first time I've seen a case of cans in Canada in over a year. <laughs> okay, Nancy, I get the just. Christina, send me an email. I do have others. Yeah, just send me an email. So anything else, everybody? Did you want to see anything? I'm so glad my puppy settled down. You're right. It must have been the noise that scared her. Now I'll go have some time with brown sugar. Have something to eat. <laughs> Christina, I can't remember who all was bought through the sale, but no matter what, I'll, I'll pay for the shipping for these. It's only like a few dollars, six dollars, whatever. Stay safe, yes. Thank you, everybody, for spending time with me. Thanks for letting me practice on you. Yeah, mom time. The doctor is at Nancy's house, laying on her lap. Yeah, it's it's uh, 11 o'clock here, um, so it's more or less my lunchtime because you're welcome, Josie. Um, I've been up since like 3.30 or something, so I had three hours sleep. Thank you, Christina. So I'll start doing the invoices up and get things organized. And um, I like to ship out on Monday and just get everything together. 
everybody, I'm going to let you go. Thank you. Thank you. Stephanie, that's her cat. The doctor. Cute cat. Very cute. Okay, you guys, take care. Anybody need a hug? I got one for you. Bye-bye now.